I woke up in a strange world full of noobs, but when I tried to find out why, I discovered an ancient prophecy that can change the world. You are going to meet with the noob king and he will decide your fate. I have to meet the noob king? Why? What does this all mean? There's no time to talk about that. You must travel to the noob capital and there you will meet the noob king and he will have the answers that you've been looking for and- Stop! I've been doing all of these quests, trying to figure out who I am and what I am doing here. I'm not leaving until you tell me exactly what this prophecy <sighs> means. You don't understand. You're right. I don't understand. That's what I've been trying to figure out this entire time. But no one will tell me anything. Okay. I guess you deserve that much. We are going to meet with the Noob King, but there's a deeper truth hidden within your find. Let me reveal it to you, and then we shall seek the King's wisdom. But we must go alone. That Noob that you travel with? I don't trust him. Okay, this part puzzled me. Billy has been around since I woke up in this strange world, but now the old man was telling me he didn't want him around. Was there something the old man wasn't telling me, or was Billy just someone he didn't like? It was something I was going to have to figure out. If we leave now, maybe you won't notice. We climbed down the mountain and left Noob City. I followed the old man until we reached some sort of tunnel. It looked kind of sketchy, but <laughs> we went down it anyway. At the bottom of the stairs was a series of claustrophobic hallways that twist and turn into an entire labyrinth. Look at this place. Someone could easily get lost in here if they didn't know where they were going. My fears were quenched when we entered a large, dark room with a ton of bookcases, and there was a staircase in the middle of everything. This seemed like it used to be very important. We walked down the staircase, and, well, you'll just have to see it for yourself. Whoa, what is this place? I didn't bring you here lightly. Oh I myself never wanted to see this place Dude. again. But the importance of you being here has brought me back to the ancient noob catacombs. Whoa, 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 wait. This place is a grave site? Is that what you're saying? A burial ground. It's to honor those who were lost in the Great War. Come to think of it, this looked very similar to the place I had stumbled across earlier where I found the prophecy. Could that have been a burial ground too? This brings back so many painful memories. Painful memories? Wait, what does this all mean? Are those just statues? Not just statues. These tell the story. The story of the Great War before our time. You see, humans like you were once everywhere, living their lives to the fullest, and creating anything they could imagine. Back then the world was different. The nations were in peace, and everyone sought to build up a world to be proud of. But not everything was balanced. The humans had the unique ability to take on the traits and the skills of all the other nations. The noobs, known for their honesty and humility, could pass on their skills and traits to the humans, but it could not go both ways. Noobs could not learn to become like you, and that was the same for all the other nations. As you can imagine, there were those who became jealous of this ability. They took it upon themselves to try to harness the power through many unnatural ways. Artificially creating the power of free will, but ultimately they failed. Seeing that they could not achieve this ability for themselves, they brought forth an army. If they couldn't have it, no one could. They waged war on the humans, slaughtering everyone who stood in their way. Their only goal was to eradicate them from the earth. Only then could the world be balanced. At this time, the other three nations saw what was happening and came to their aid. But it was too little, too late. The age of the humans was no more. Some say there were few who escaped the grasp of those barbarians. But hundreds of years later, you are the only evidence oh. that humanity still exists. Oh my head. What happened to those who slaughtered my people? Come with me. The nations may have been too slow to save your people, but they did not hesitate to band together and bring justice to those marauders. The Great War had begun. The three nations, united and unwavering, beat back the forces of evil and liberated the land of those who were occupied by invaders. They achieved victory. But due to the quest for vengeance, they were unable to fully destroy them. 
A common enemy can unite a people like a blazing fire. But the spark of their own ambition still flicker beneath the surface. Once the enemy faltered, they were no longer the biggest threat, and the world no longer sought to destroy them. What are you saying? Everybody watched as the humans were slaughtered, and then once they had united to destroy evil, they just stopped? They let the barbarians go. How is that justice? They all deserve to die for what they did. But instead, the world just let them free? Calm down. I understand what you're going through. Trust me, I do. But those barbarians did get what they deserved. Come. They were expelled through the ocean to an island of unspeakable horrors. Unfathomable evil. Life itself wouldn't stand a chance there. It's just not possible. They truly died horrible deaths. As for the world, it has never been no, the same. I I can't believe I, I, I'm the only one left. I'm the last human alive. Oh my goodness. What am I? So you see why I was hesitant to bring you here. This place is a monument of a horrible war and a terrible tragedy. Come on. It's time we leave this place. Oh, and one more thing. Do not let anyone know you're a human. Like I was saying before, the world is not the same as it once was, and it cannot know what you are. Understand? There are spies everywhere. Spies of who? The enemy. There it is. Noob capital. Yeah, <laughs> that's a city all right. We walked up towards the gate and then the guard stopped us because of course they did. State your business here. We are on an official quest for the Noob King. Hmm. I don't recall hearing about any quests from the Noob King. Uh, it was very secretive. Then why are you telling me now? Uh, because it's done, of course. <laughs> Your story checks out. Why doesn't anybody tell me these things? Go on through. Wait a minute. Halt! You aren't from around here, are you? Why is this man hiding his face? Is it because he's really an assassin? Why do people keep thinking I'm an assassin? Look, I didn't want to have to do this. Sorry, buddy. He actually has a rare skin condition called... Uh, dandelionitis. Dandelionitis. Yep. Uh, that's what we're going with. Hmm, I've never heard of that. I'll have to check and see exactly what this so Oh, called. it burns! Oh. It burns! The What's sun. happening? Psst. <clears throat> oh, uh, I mean, uh, it burns! My uh, life is painful and apparently full of tragedy and all stuff like that. Okay, let's go. Dandelionitis? I hope it's not contagious. Oh, don't worry. It is. Oh, boy. We really need to get you to disguise. You stand out way too much. Stranger! See? It's me, Billy! No, no, no! What is he doing here? I heard you were going to Noob Capital, so I headed there myself. Oh my... Ugh, I have to figure out a way to get rid of this guy. So what are we doing, friend? Don't call me that. Well, I have to get a disguise, because apparently I stand out too much here, I guess. Stupid Why do you sound all gloomy? Well, for starters, I found out that my entire people- <clears throat> I need to talk with you privately. Excuse us. You cannot tell this noob who you are. You need to tell him to leave us alone. He'll never listen to me. Why? Billy's been with me since the very beginning, before I even met you. I don't like him around, okay? Tell him to go home or something. I need him gone. Do it. All right. Fine. Billy, I... Want to join us on our endeavor? Would I? <laughs> of course. <sighs> Why do I even bother? Okay, well, I need to find a way to get a new disguise. Well, that's convenient. Yeah, this'll do. Hi, uh... Whoa! Of course, darling. You want bright color, you want dull color. Bright color, yes, yes. I picked blue for you. Orange hair, my, my, how wonderful. You look just like a schoolboy. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I see, I see. You want every young flower to look at you when you enter a room now, don't you? Yes, 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 you do. Come here, hold still. More still than that. Yes, there. Wonderful. We need something that doesn't stand out too much. Oh, I got just the one. Come here, you little rascal. I'm not finished with you yet. Whoa, I can't even see you. Too much. Too much? 
My my hard one to please this one. I didn't say anything. Starting. I'm working here, honey. I know just the one for you. Sit tight now. Hold what, still. What, what I said doing? hold still. You call that Yo. hold still? You moving my cat in water? You want me to impale you with these? No 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 no. Uh, maybe this was a mistake. I could go to a new I place. I make no mistakes, honey. You are always perfect. That's the one. Oh, he's so pale. Come back here, darling. We still going no. at it. From dawn till dusk, baby. Yikes. What happened? Now that one's eccentric. Nope. Next. Oh. Absolutely not. Next. Everybody remain calm. Remain calm. Don't panic. Ah. Whoa. I've seen some things. We just getting started, darling. Wait until you see my real utensils, uh-huh. Help me. Long live the king. Make it stop. Make it stop, please. What about this one? Hmm, I actually like this one. Thank you. Why so picky, my young cherry blossom? You almost frazzled me out of costume. We'll take it. Oh, found one, have we? Good, good. You knew exactly what you wanted, didn't you, you little rascal? You just wanted to spend more time with me. I'm so honored to be your designer. Now that will be 1760. You want two costumes? I give you two costumes for a discount of $2.60. I sell you a face as well for a 3% discount. I know you want it, Babushka. Wait, I'll we'll just take the one costume. Thank you, Dee Dee. Anything for my cherry blossom and my other cherry blossom. Awesome. Ho -ho. You come again now. Tell your friends. Sale three costumes for forty-seven thirty-seven. Okay, okay. Bye bye now. Don't be a stranger. Come back soon. Wow. Uh, oh my that goodness. was uh. That was something. Yeah. Tell me about it. We walked down the streets of the noob capital. At this point, I was starting to get tired of looking at dirt. It was literally everywhere. I mean, seriously, why is this the only block the noobs decide to build with? It's so ugly. I hate it. Whatever. I guess it kind of defines them. They're noobs. It's, it's fine. Whatever. I'm just venting now. Get your raw chicken. Get your raw chicken. <laughs> No, Who in their right mind would chicken. ever not only pay, but also willingly eat raw chicken? <laughs> I'll take seven, please. I spoke too soon. We made our way, passing by dozens of houses and through a couple gates that connected the sections of the city until we reached our destination, the Noob King's Castle. I'm genuinely kind of impressed. Back up, civilians. This is Noob King property. No, we're here to see the king. Without an invitation, it is forbidden to enter the king's palace. I command you to step back. I got this. Now look here, Mr. Guard. He said we are here to see New King, and that's what we're going to do. So let us in! Please? Oh, well by all means. <laughs> About time that happened. I will tell you one more time. Step back or you will be thrown into our dungeon. You will open this gate and let the two of us through, and you will forget we were even here. I... I will open this gate and let the two of you through. And you will forget- I will forget you were ever here. That's right. That was incredible! How'd you do that? I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Wait, what about Billy? <laughs> oh, you're back, are you? I found the prophecy that apparently the world had been searching for for centuries, and it has led me here. Finally, I'll get some answers as to what my purpose is. At least that's what I hope. This way, hurry! What's going on? Uh, we're gonna make a little detour. To the left. Why? Well, by entering the castle without an invitation, we technically committed treason. What? Shh, don't worry. Everything will be just fine if we can get to the king. He's an old friend of mine. What's the penalty for treason again? If you're lucky, death. You're not serious, are you? Well, this is it. We were looking at a massive underground dungeon where I assume all the prisoners were being kept. It's interesting because this is supposed to be a prison, yet everything was still made out of dirt. Like, couldn't you just mine through it? I don't know, noobs always find a way to baffle my brain. But yeah, we exited the dungeon area and went down a few hallways. Back up, back up! The guards are coming! 
that's not good. We backed up into a dead end hey, while the guards were here. heading towards us. Be quiet. If they simply decided to look this way, we would be caught for sure and possibly charged for treason. I hope we don't get caught. Be quiet. Was so close. What was that? Run! Stop! Get back here! Stop running away! What is he doing? I don't know, he's leading himself into a dead end. He's going through the vent! Stop him! Well, well, what have we here? Uh My head is it. The information he carries has the oh. ability to change the world, and you won't even give us the light of day? I have more pressing matters at the moment. I've heard threats of an attack on our northern border that I need to address. Whatever happened to us, we used to be like brothers. Times have changed. The signs of war are imminent, and I cannot sit back and watch my people suffer. But we have it now. We know what it says. Then enlighten me. What does it say? I... I cannot tell you. A at least not yet. Dismiss your guards and I will reveal it to you. No. That is not happening. Look, there are spies everywhere. We cannot risk this vital information. Very well. It seems as though your friend here is awake. Guards, you are dismissed for now. And so are you. I want to talk Whoa, to him alone. Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea. Leave! Listen to me. You are a noob. You must act like one if you wish to survive. Lie if you have to. Remember this. Understand? I understand. Be careful. Now, who are you? And why are you here? Are you serious? This is why I came here, to find out those exact questions. The old man said I would find those answers here. Did he lie to me? Well? I... I have no idea. That, that's why I came here. To find out those exact questions, your highness. How dare you lie to me! It's not a lie! Listen, all I remember is waking up on the shore with no idea who I am or why I'm here. I was taken to a noob mayor who shuffled me off to Noob City where I met with a noob governor. He was astonished that I was there and he told me of my tragic history. So then, naturally, he sent me to the top of a mountain to meet with the old man who did try to kill me at first but learned that I was a... Uh, Let's just say he had a change of heart. So then he sent me off to Noob Fields, where I found an ancient book that apparently everybody has been searching for. And when I came back, we started traveling here, to Noob Capital, to meet with you! I have been going on one quest, after another, after another, this entire time trying to discover my purpose. And it has led me here. So please, sire, tell me, who am I? Before I speak, you must give me the book. Or I cannot trust anything you have just said. I don't know if I should give it to him. The old man doesn't seem to trust him, and obviously this is a big deal. Is it safe to give it to him? I don't know what to do. What other choice is there? Oh, well, I believe you, but that's what chills me to my bones. What do you mean? These words, they carry the weight of a tomb. If this is true, then this place may well be your final resting ground. You probably won't survive what's ahead. 